uh, hey everyone this is umakan welcome to hollow fitness channel so here i am with a new content so in this session i will discuss uh, the phd interview experience at iit iic nit iger and iger so how to apply and uh, how to apply in the sense where to apply and uh, how to give a very effective phd interview that is the aim of my few days uh, content so let's start the session and have a great discussion on these uh, topics which is very essential for you okay so first of all i would like to talk about uh, which institute will uh, conduct the written examination uh, before the interview this is very important and very uh, very important point to be known so first of all i would like to suggest that uh, the iit is like iit bombay so iit bombay uh, secondly iit gandhinagar okay uh, then iit kanpur okay uh, then iit jodhpur iit jodhpur so these are the four iit which will uh, conduct written exam before interview so in that case you will uh, get a call for higher rankers also okay so iit bombay will call mostly all the rankers for the written iit gandhinagar will call uh, nearly uh, for open less than uh, 12 to 1200 to 1500 rank and for obc it will be like 1800 so it will call for the uh, written examination for in case of iit kanpur you will get a very less number less uh, rankers like up to 100 to 200 rank they will call then iit jodhpur will call almost all the rankers it will also call all the rankers okay so if uh, all the rankers so i will suggest uh, you that if you have a low uh, grade score okay if you have a low grade score then please target iit bombay for written to uh, make a very effective written examination so that you can uh, sit for the interview then iit jodhpur so these two will be very uh, nice option for you to be uh, appeared for the interview uh, then uh, for the remaining iits for all the remaining iits all the uh, remaining iits okay like iit delhi iit kharagpur or iit uh, the iit uh, trip uh, tirupati or uh, different iits are there so in that case you will cut, uh, call for the low rankers like uh, iit delhi will call very low up to very less than like less than 300 for open you are okay and less than 500 for o obc okay so there is a very uh, less chance for the high rankers to be called for the interview so if you have very uh, low grade score so don't apply here okay so these are the things and for the iser iser okay other same thing will happen they will call for the top rankers they will call for the top rankers okay a niger uh, yes niger will conduct the written examination so you can apply the form has no cost so you can apply for niger uh, then for the iisc the scene is same uh, scene is uh, exactly same so they will call for the high uh, rankers for the uh, written examination okay and in case of iit delhi you will appear for the tour out of interview first of all the academic interview will be there that is departmental interview will be there second the interview will your approach uh, you have to approach your guide okay so this is very uh, complicated process so uh, uh, those are applying for the iit delhi so be careful and they should know your uh, field of research so that you can approach your professor initially okay so these are the point where uh, written exam will be there or not but in case of iit jodhpur the question will be very fine very easy but in case of iit bombay they will give you nit question nta question uh, so you have to be careful about the solution because cut up will be very high so out of 100 cut up may be 85 90 okay so you have to do very well because competition is very huge for the very limited number of seats okay so this is the case in iit bombay so then how can give an effective phd interview this is very big question you are uh, now you are get qualified and you will be just qualified also csr csr net qualified so the question how to give a effective phd interview this is the biggest question so i think uh, this is uh, this point should be clear so whenever you are appearing for the phd interview so first of all decide three to four topic very well Topic in the sense prepare very well because nowadays most of the IIT will give you chance to play with your comfort zone. So they will ask you what is your favorite subject. Favorite subject. This is important. So prepare three to four topics very well in the sense ki, uh, up to depth. Not only the formulas, concept. So you have to know the very concept in deeper. Okay. 
so this is the point 3 to 4 topic second thing is graph plotting graph plotting so this is e e essential so graph plotting is very important so know how to draw different uh, famous graphs or tra uh, trigonometric graph polynomials different uh, functions these are very important uh, the third is if you have project if you have project then work on it okay third. fourth is your resource interest Okay, if you have a specific research in the like condensed matter physics, then uh, pre prepare uh, one to two uh, ongoing research topic on this area. Like if you see in uh, uh, condensed matter experimental, people are now jumping into topological insulator, perovskite. So uh, graphene, these are the very topic, uh, hot topic on the research nowadays. So please. Uh, have a look on that topic if you have interested on a specific area like if you are interested on the solar cell or any supercapacitor or any battery application anyway so please go through this okay uh, for the uh, people who are highly uh, interested on the experimental condensed matter physics because this is my area of research condensed matter physics okay so this is my area of research so i will suggest please go through xrd this will highly necessary this is highly necessary xrd uv visible absorption spectroscopy for band gap measurement <coughs> this is band gap measurement will be there from uv visible absorption spectroscopy and thirdly thirdly i would suggest for two probe method and four probe method four probe method this two are very important then <coughs> hall measurement will be definitely there hall measurement will be definitely there <coughs> then you will get a question from magnetic material magnetic material okay a question will be there like from domain theory and bh curve then there people will ask you about the band structure band structure and crony penny model effective mass crony penny model and effective mass so they will ask you what is effective mass give a physical interpretation of effective mass and how band occurs in the material and band, occurring of band is due to only the periodic potential Matlab, like they will ask you is the periodic potential is a sufficient condition to have the band in the solid okay so this is a finest question Matlab, having the periodic band uh, periodic potential v is sufficient is sufficient to have band in solid okay this is very famous question it is asked me several time in several iits in last year uh, then a question is uh, expected from the uh, bracks law bracks law okay this is very important so please go through this topic very well okay so if you are for the uh, experimental condensed matter physics or condensed matter physics it may be theoretical so they will uh, there high probability of asking question from this area okay so these are the important points so i would like to suggest for all the student lab uh, please graph uh, practice the graphs as much as possible then mathematical physics uh, is very essential they will people definitely ask mathematical physics from the mathematical physics they will go to complex analysis mostly okay then from the matrix matrix these are the very important topic okay. they will ask you definitely from this portion uh, then uh, if you see from the statistical mechanics point of view from the statistical mechanics point of view statistical mechanics uh, the uh, people are interested on the bohr's einstein condensation okay i know most of the student are uh, did not understand this bohr's einstein uh, condensation in the deep work so if you have any source like nptl or any books then please please go through this bic why it is occurring only 3d not in 2d and 1d this is their question why it is so uh, how uh, why both einstein condensation cannot be occurs in the fermi gas so this is the question under uh, microstate and entropy i faced uh, in two to three iits this question microstate and entropy this question can be expected 
uh, from the quantum mechanics point of view, uh, the people are interested on particle box, uh, most of the IIT will give you chance. So, which portion are uh, very favorite to you from the quantum mechanics point of view? So, particle in infinite box and quantum harmonic oscillator and a hydrogen atom. So, prepare these three very well. They will go to uh, take you into the deeper concept. Okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video. So, this is all about the PhD interview tips and I will provide a very details uh, analysis. Okay. So, please go through this and it will be helpful to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you for your support.